First, we will delete this default cube in Blender, select cube, X, and then press delete. Instead, we are going to go Shift A, add a mesh, and choose UV sphere. Now, I'm going to go in the front view mode here, and I like to go here into wireframe so I can see what I'm doing. And I want to cut here in the middle. Right now, this is not optimal. So click here and let's add more rings. And then you see this is more easy to cut this way instead of this. But this is a bit thick, so I'm going to go with something small. Maybe 21 will be perfect. If you're happy with it, click next to it and this will disappear. Back into solid view mode and select your sphere here. Right click, shade, smooth. Okay, now into edit mode. We're going to go into face select mode, into the x-ray mode, and select this middle part here. Hit X and delete all the faces. Great, go back into object mode. And we don't need x-ray mode anymore. And we need to take this up. So with this selected, go here to the modifiers, add a modifier, and then look for solidify, because we'll make it more solid, more thicker. And here in the thickness, you can click and then choose the thickness that you would like. i choose this setting for this, for example. Then we need to add another modifier because now this is a bit curvy. So let's go here to the subdivision surface and let's add an extra level to this. You see this is already not perfect. So what we're going to do is go back here into edit mode and add loop cuts in this with Ctrl R here, click and add more to the edge, click. Also on this side, Ctrl R, move your mouse cursor till you see a line like this, and then slide it up to the top like this. And now you see this is way better. Now we need to punch a hole in here for our Pokeball. So Shift A, Mesh, and the best shape for this is a cylinder. This is pretty big, so scale it down with S, then rotate on the X axis and type in 90. So RX90 is what I did on my keyboard. Then GY, the green line is the Y axis, so this moves it in the Y axis. Something like this should too. Okay, now what we are going to do, add a modifier. Again, the subdivision surface, because I don't want, I don't want to see these lines anymore. I want it perfectly round. So add modified subdivision surface. Let's add two levels so we can have a view level of three. Then back into our edit mode. And same thing, we're going to add loop cuts. Ctrl R, click, slide to the edge. Ctrl R, click, and also on the other side here, even though you can't see it. Okay, then let's uh, go into face select mode right here. Hit I to inset, and you can see this already changing. Also to the border right here, something like this should work. Back in object mode, right click, shade smooth, and it's smooth as a baby right now. Okay, maybe a little more scaling in front view, it's better. Okay, I want my Pokeball to be something like this should work. Then for next step, go to Edit, Preferences, and make sure you have the Boolean tool selected. The Bool tool right here. You can also see the shortcut Ctrl Shift B to enable this one, because this will uh, enable us to cut a hole from here inside of a Pokeball. So have your cylinder selected, Shift click on the Pokeball, then Ctrl Shift B, and choose Difference. So this cut a hole right into our Pokeball. If you don't want to see this anymore, you can see here cylinder and make sure you hide it or H to uh, use it as a shortcut. Yeah, you see these little lines uh, right here, this is pretty ugly. You can fix these by selecting the Pokeball, then going here to your data properties, normals, and choose auto smooth. And this should fix that error. Okay, now we need the inside of our Pokeball. So Shift A, Mesh, and then we are going to choose a UV sphere once more. As to scale it down, and this is a bit too small. If it's too big, it will collide with the other one. So have a look to where it starts hitting the edge. Okay, this should be fine. Right click, shade, smooth, and smooth as a baby once more. Okay, now we need here the Pokeball button, or however you call it, I don't know. So once more, Shift A, Mesh, Cylinder. Let's do what we did before, RX90. Scale it down, GUI to bring it out a bit. And then in the side view, which we have a numpad, GUI, let's bring it a bit like this should be fine. Okay, and I think I like the size of this button like this. Good. But now, once again, we see these lines. We want it smooth again. So you remember, once more, go to the modifiers, 
and choose subdivision surface are a shortcut for you. Control 2 if you want to level 2, Control 3 if you want to level of 3. Then once more, go back to edit modes. Control R to make a loop cut right here. Control R on the other side as well, even though you don't see it right now. Select the face, have the face selected. I to inset and inset is a little bit. And now you can see, even though right click shift smooth is possible, but it's not needed anymore, this is smooth as is. Okay, inside this button, let's create a smaller little button so it's really like a Pokeball. So I'll go back into edit mode for that, have this face selected. Then I to inset. But watch now when I press E to exude, you see these ugly things happening. So once more, I to inset. So we create a little loop cut like we did before. And then I'm going to go with E to extrude a little bit and I to inset for an extra loop cut and geometry. And this looks beautiful. I think it looks beautiful. And this is the basic shape of our Pokeball done. Now we need to color it in, which we call texturing. I like the texture uh, being inside of edit mode. And then one on my numpad in front view. Then X-ray mode and let's select the top part right here. So we have all these faces selected at the top. I like to be here in the viewport shading so I can see the colors. Go here to the material properties. Select the new material. Hit the sign. And now I click next to it. I can see the colors better. And the base color, let's make it really, really red. Okay. Then for the bottom colors, select these ones. Hit the plus icon. New material. And let's make this really super white and hit the sign. So we have something going like this. Okay, and by the way, you can also see a little error here. This is red, so let's fix this once more. Let's make sure the top part is assigned to red and the bottom part here is assigned to white. Then click the ball on the inside, create a new material for that one, and let's make this all the way to black. Okay. And then also the little button that we create here, a new material for that, and also choose for this the white color. And right now this should be our Pokeball completely done, textured and ready to catch our Pokemons.